DIY video for March's favorites. This is actually the first favorite of the year because I haven't been, of course she didn't, but now I have. So I wanted to share with you some things that have actually stuck out in my routine and there's a few, there's actually, I think there's only one miscellaneous thing, but everything else is pretty much beauty. So let's go ahead and start with the like miscellaneous thing that is not a beauty item is my wallet. If you remember, I got this wallet about a year ago. Um, it's already been repaired once, but um, I absolutely love this wallet. I've actually been thinking about buying um, another Louis Vuitton wallet, but I don't know just because of my experience with it. Um, but you know, it's just something I need to really evaluate um, this summer if I want to do that. But this is the Louis Vuitton Insulate wallet and I don't know what print this is. I'm not good at it. And it looks just like this. It's got all these like card slots and everything. So um, if you're interested, it does have a lot of storage. It's got like a zipper pocket and all of that jazz. So yeah, this is the Naked Flush Palette. This is in Native. Here is what the inside of it looks like. It's pretty actually pretty messed up. Um, but I used this actually today on myself and I think it made my blush look really good. I just swirled everything together. I have no brushes because I like washed them all and they were all wet. And so I kind of just used my hands and it worked. I did use this a few other times as well and I really liked it. It's just something you know you kind of pull out of your makeup collection and you kind of go with it. But this is the only one that I have and I would definitely recommend these. They're really soft and really buttery but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll try using them all separately and see what I think. A eyeshadow by Hard Candy. This is a single eyeshadow. This is in number 5112 Infatuation. The reason why I picked this up was that it kind of resembled um, Kitten by Stila and if you've been watching you know that is one of my favorite colors of eyeshadow on demand but that's like $19 and this is like three or four dollars and I really really like it. Let me see if I can swatch it for you guys. I'm currently wearing it right now. Um, you can kind of see it just has a sheer uh, shimmer but I think it looks great. I have it on my eyes now. I've been using it a lot and you can see there's quite a dip in it. This is my second one that I currently have. This is the RSVP um, by Benefit and it's in the new packaging. When I finished my other one um, I had it in the old packaging and that is what that looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch it. So it is just a pink, I don't know if you can see it, but it is definitely just a pink wash of color and it's a great just base color to put things on top of it. But I like it because I can use my fingers or I can use a brush and it works either way. So this little guy, I I do have a beauty blender, but I wanted to start with this one because I'm kind of saving my beauty blender for the summer when I have pageant um, pageantry and competitions. So I wanted to kind of save that for this, but I used that this morning for this foundation right here, which I will talk about in just a moment. And I absolutely love it. I can say it is kind of hard to clean. I washed it and the stain is still there, which is a bummer. So. Um, if they make a black one eventually in the future, I may go ahead and pick that up. But I really like it because, you know, you can use this side for like tapping in your foundation. Um, and then you can just basically use this thing on whatever. I did save the package. It is the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. Going on to the foundation, this is the Laura Mercier. This is in the shade of Vanilla. Yeah, Vanilla. And... I've already put it on, but you can kind of see the color right there. I think this foundation is awesome. When I first put it on, this was a little while ago, so it is kind of getting down there. Um, when I first put it on, um, I was like, whoa, this is like way too much. And then you kind of just let it set in and it works great. So um, this is one of those special occasion things that I purchased a while ago when it first came out and I absolutely love this. To set my foundation, I've been using my MAC Fix and no Prep and Prime, and I have made some serious dips in that. Look at that. That is, oops, I'm blinding you. Ha, huh? sorry. Um, you can see there's a little pinhole there. Um, I like using this to set my foundations, and that's what I've been doing whenever I use this. Um, I do find that 
the powder gets a little dirty looking even though it's not it's just your foundation but um i find that's the only thing i don't like about this but i definitely love this i have two of these i'm currently going through one right now and this one i actually hit paint on today i love this product this is by tony moly this is the honey one and it is just literally a potted lip gloss as you can tell i've got a pretty good tip in there but um i love this stuff oh it smells so good it smells like honey um i am trying to savor this because this is expensive for a lip balm i think it was like eight or ten dollars and this is um 7.4 grams or 0 0.26 um, ounces it's made in Korea um, and I know that he just um, made another one in some cute packaging I'm not sure much about it but I saw it on Sephora's website I was like oh man but I really really have been enjoying this and I use this for when I'm starting to apply my uh, makeup and foundation and stuff I just kind of put it on to like set my lips and it works out great I am telling you about this product that has changed my life I used to love the benefit give me brow benefit give me brow and then I had um, used the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills uh, brow whiz and I, I still like them a lot trust me I still like them a lot but I went into Sephora a while ago and I was asking for like more natural brow products and the guy was like oh have you heard of the Tarte um, one and I'm like no and so he showed me this this is the Tarte Amazonian clay colored tinted brow gel I have got to say this is a really good match this is in medium brown I am a redhead I have it on today so I don't know does it look good um, but I really really like this I really do and I am hoping that it will last me let's see this is a six month expiration date if it lasts me the six months that would be great because I am going through this like nobody's business so if you're looking for a new brow gel I definitely recommend that I am the last one on the bandwagon for this Maybelline fit me concealer I looked everywhere for it and finally found it and I had bought two of the same color so I threw one of my pro kit um, this stuff is freaking amazing and why do I say that is because it is perfect it literally goes on pretty smooth so as you can see it is pretty blendable it is pretty pink and it actually brightens my eyes which really doesn't make any sense because it's like the shade fair so it should actually just be you just be hiding concealer I use this as an under eye concealer and I love this stuff I've been noticing that some concealers will actually enhance my wrinkles underneath my eyes yes I have wrinkles underneath my eyes but this one doesn't and it goes on really smooth and it's very blendable you really don't need much the L'Oreal magic nude is another foundation I was using for a little bit before I switched to um, a BB cream what I like about this um, foundation is it just literally blends in like powder and I could be doing that all day and it's already blended and matched I believe I was gifted this in one of my swaps by Vegas Vixen um, Ronnie gifted this to me and I really really like it um, this is like my second bottle and I would definitely recommend this as a good starting out like foundation for a powder if you are looking for something that you can quickly apply with your fingers and you're in a rush for out the door because this baby is the one you want to go this is um, shade 310 light ivory so I would recommend this one if you're in the market for a new foundation so let's talk about some perfumes you know the stuff that makes you smell good. I've got this project use it up thing going on where I'm trying to go through a lot of my perfumes and found in uh, body sprays as you can tell right here as long as I don't edit it out you can see that's quite a collection of perfumes this body spray was bought a while ago but it still smells good it still works this is the lucky you lucky brand body spray I used to use the perfume when I was in I want to say high school but um, I absolutely love the smell I still do and I still spray it on me at all times mm, it smells so good um, I had I was using my juicy couture ones but they were actually breaking out my skin which um, my rash is actually going but I had it hit my skin and it was like breaking me out so I had to shelf all my juicy couture which is a shame this body spray actually lasts for a while I had it on earlier this morning and um, 
I could still smell it before I sprayed that. It wasn't as strong, but it was still there. The Fire in Ice perfume. Um, this is such an old school thing. I remember using this in high school as well as the Lucky You, but I remember this. I went through one of these already. I can tell you though, whenever I use this, I get so many compliments from, from guys. And they say that smells really good. And so I am on my last bottle, which I've been trying to save here, but I think vanilla is one of those ferrum things that, I don't know. I just, I just hear things. Um, but I definitely love the smell. Um, it's one of my oldest perfumes. I found it in my garage when I was moving this summer, this last summer, 2014. And I'm like, oh, I better use that up. So um, I, per I put this in my other one um, next to my perfumes and I'm just using it up. So that is everything that I have been enjoying for the month of March and maybe a few months from before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like recognize any of these favorites and you love them, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys say about them. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.